shady you were <laughs> both the loudest on this and probably the most correct. I gotta be honest, right, everybody? Shady a hater, shady critical, shady this, shady that. No, 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 shady's right. Shady's right. You're not a hater, he's not crazy. he's right. Justin Fields has not looked good. Is it time for the Bears to give up on Justin Fields? Yeah, you're a good friend, yo. You're a good friend. <laughs> I'm gonna say yes, they should. But then again, if you want Caleb Williams, you might as well keep Justin Fields as a quarterback. Because he's gonna play how he plays, and you're gonna lose every game, and then you can get that number one pick and get Caleb Williams from USC. I just think right now he's 5-23 and 23 as a quarterback, he as a starter. He's cold for that. When I, when I watch Justin Fields play, I just don't see no development, right? We all know he can run the ball. He's a tremendous athlete, right? You said something the other day about him and Michael Vick as far as talent-wise, and I thought you were tripping until I watched the tape. I'm like, man, he, he runs the ball extremely well like Mike. But I don't see no development. They get you a, a number one wide receiver in DJ Moore who's phenomenal. And when you have him, you don't do nothing with him. You can't give him the ball. One of my, Devin White, one of my good friends, I heard him on the mic up, and he was like, hey, man, DJ, they're not using you right. As in, your quarterback is not using you right. Yeah. So when you ask me, is it time for him to move on? Yes. Unless you want to be the Bears of the old and just keep losing and losing and losing, having bad quarterback play. I don't know. I mean, this is not Ohio State where you have, you know, all the best athletes going against not as good athletes. It's the NFL, the elite elite, and I don't think he's an elite quarterback. It's time to move on. My next... Or do I? <laughs> Listen, if you start your career five and 24, I, I don't, I, it's, you, you're, you're taking it out of our hands to continue arguing in your favor. Yeah. I think there's plenty, there, he's five and 23 now. They play the Broncos this weekend. It's, it's. Oh, you writing it in? It's, it's, it's a battle of bad. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so yeah. really, I'm, I'm not writing it in, but whatever team loses this game, it's going to be an absolute dumpster fire. Oof. So in the, in, in the battle of bad this weekend, we will find out who's right. worse. And then they'll start having conversations about what they're going to do at quarterback. And one is paid a lot of money, so it's going to be a much harder conversation. And one is not. So then they're going to have to decide what they're going to do moving forward for the rest of the season if they're going to continue playing Justin Fields and counting on him to continue to play the way he is. Eventually, it's just going to get, a point, get to a point where it doesn't make sense to play him anymore. Right. And as much as I want to support the situation... You do got love for him. And I, 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 I like that they stuck with him and right. they moved off of that pick. 5-24 and 24 is hard to argue for. And, and this is the year you have to step up. Right. I could give you passes on the, other, on, the, on the years before. Maybe they didn't set you up for success. Maybe you didn't have enough weapons. It's your third year. You, you got to show... Gotta show some growth, and we just keep seeing most of the same. Yeah. I mean, for me, you got Broncos 0 and 3. Mm -hmm. Then you got the Commanders, who I don't believe is a, is, a, is a good football team. They 2 and 1, but they beat the Cardinals and the Broncos. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't think they're too good of a football team at 2 and 1. And then you got the 0 and 3 uh, Minnesota Vikings. Right. So I think you give them these three. Right, these are football teams that are not good. I think I think you give him these three to go out there and see if he shows any improvement. And if he comes out of this, he already done lost the last eleven straight. If you come out of this and you owe in fourteen in your last fourteen starts, eleven, you gotta put him on the bench because at the end of the day, now we have to start thinking about the other players on the team. We have to start thinking about the future yeah. because if we really keep in a buck and everybody knows that, you know, I fight for Justin Fields too and I'll be on here, you know, debating with Shady. But <gasps> he did. <laughs> I forgot. No, keep going. I got to write I'll that down. I'll be on here debating with Shady. But he's making people worse. DJ Moore has been a phenomenal receiver in this league. 3,000 yard plus seasons. He's nowhere to be found. And sometimes it ain't even, like, no scheme. It ain't no nothing. You see him over there on the right side and it's one-on-one -on -one coverage, give him a chance. Right. Like, it, you, sometimes you ain't got to out-scheme everybody. He's not making the people around him better. You cannot keep holding on to Justin Fields and thinking he's going to turn into this player and he 0-15 and 0-16. Right? I think that's when you got to start thinking about the other Bears players. You got to start thinking about the organization. You got to start thinking about the Bears fans. Because if you do get that number one pick, it's a phenom at the number one pick to be able to change your organization around. These Bears aren't getting anything out of Justin Fields. Not these ones. Mm -hmm. I think it's time for the Bears to give up on both Justin Fields and Matt Eberflus, the coach. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's time for you to give up on both of them. Matt Eberflus is not getting anything out of Justin Fields. This current organizational structure of the Bears are not getting anything out of Justin Fields. I'm not only setting my eyes on Caleb Williams, I too am setting my eyes on Lincoln Riley. 
I'm inviting him on the yacht, and I'm making sure that he does not leave until he is under contract with the Chicago Bears. I understand he's in Southern California for $100-plus plus million. I get all that. But Caleb Williams, I do not know how good Caleb is without Lincoln. I know how good Caleb is, mm -hmm. but I know Caleb was with Lincoln in Norman, Oklahoma. Yeah. And Caleb was with Lincoln in Southern California. And I want Caleb to be with Lincoln in Chicago. Yeah. That is where my sights are set. I want Caleb Williams, but I also want Caleb Williams with Lincoln Riley because that's the only way I can guarantee that Caleb Williams will be good. The Bears have proven to ruin a lot of great quarterbacks. I don't know who is ruining who, but I know Justin Fields is ruined, as it stands currently. I also think you got the Panthers' number one pick. Panthers are 0-3. You got your own number one pick. Mm. You 0-3. Mm. You got a shot. You got a good Absolutely. shot at this Caleb Williams lottery. Mm. Okay, because the Texans, their pick is attained currently by the Cardinals. Mm -hmm. And the Texans are 1-2. and two, And the Cardinals hold their own pick. And the Cardinals are 1-2. and two. Yeah. So you got two shots, Chicago Bears, that are currently better than the Cardinals' two shots. Mm. Win with them shots. Yeah. But you got to win big. Woo, this is getting even more spicy. Shady, you've made some interesting comments. You said, what's the difference between Zach Wilson and Justin Fields? 40 times? What? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I didn't, like you, you, you made comments that at the, at the surface is kind of like ha ha and keep in, yeah. but in reality, it's really real. It's the same thing. Right. Should this be Zach Wilson's last chance? Mind you, he has the Chiefs this weekend in America. Uh, I'm gonna say yes, right? And, and I, it is the Chiefs, and they're, they, they're gonna lose this game, obviously, but it's how he plays. And I'm, it's time for Zach Wilson to let it go, let it rip. You have nothing else to wait on. The Pacers is running thin with New York, let alone just your, your whole franchise. In New York, it's time to move on. If you don't get this thing done and look competent and look good enough, they got to get rid of him. Because what are you waiting on? Right? And we all talk about how this defense is so great. There's good defense, but I don't think this defense is in the same caliber as, like, the Niners or even the Cowboys. They're not. And they need some play from the quarterback. And he's not giving them nothing. The same way we, I talk about Justin Fields, I'm saying the same thing about Zach Wilson. If he doesn't play well and look decent and competent enough, it's time to move on for him, too. I mean, he's 8 and 16. And one of those is thanks to Josh Allen, so right. I'll, I'll put an asterisk next to it. <laughs> the last week was the one they needed to win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you, you got to. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a divisional game. We don't think much of the, of, of the Patriots. No, we don't. Yeah. And he was 18 for 36, 157 yards, 62 Passer rating. What is that? 1.9 passer What rating. is that? No. He's got career lows in passer rating, passing yards, completion percentage, touchdown interception ratio, passing yards per attempt. It's the same situation. Actually, it's not the same situation. I don't even want to say that. It's not the same situation. Because the Jets have better weapons. The Jets have better pieces than the, than the Bears do on, on both sides of the ball. So I, I can't say it's the same situation. And he's also in his third year. So I, last week was the week to show it. I don't think this is going to be a good weekend for the Jets. I've said this a few weeks ago, but I think we're really trying to hold on to this Jets story. We are white-knuckling to this Jets story because we talked about it so much in the offseason. Yeah. We really just want a little payoff, and guys, we're not going to get it. Zach Wilson has shown, again, that he's not capable of elevating this team or even playing at an average level to put the ball in the hands of the playmakers that the Jets put around Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. So I, I don't think it's going to happen this weekend, and unfortunately, I think we've seen... More of the same story, and we just had to deal with it because we talked about the Jets so much this offseason. A lot. Yeah, I mean, I, I stood up here and I said, uh, let him ride it out, right? Let, let's, let's see what Zach Wilson got. Let, let him finish the season, right? That was us thinking about Zach Wilson, right? And Acho said the same thing, so I'm a snitch. Acho, Acho in the bushes, too. Come out. <laughs> We both cry. We, we both cry. He over there. He over there. Yeah. He over there. We both cry. So um, that was me thinking about truly just Zach Wilson. I wasn't thinking about all the other guys on the Jets. I wasn't thinking about C.J. Mosler. I wasn't thinking about Sauce. I wasn't thinking about Garrett Wilson. You hurt them. Yeah. They in this locker room like, dang, man, like, are, are we just going to tank the season? Because I'm playing my tail off. I'm playing hard. I could possibly get injured and all this stuff. And the message the organization is sending us now that Zach has looked this bad is we ain't tripping. You got mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you can't relay that message to the team like we ain't tripping how we look out here. You see him and Gary Wilson getting into it every single game on the sideline now. You know, so you cannot do the other players on the Jets like that. And that's why I think it's time to move on from Zach. 
so you can let this team know that we are not just completely tank tanking this thing. We are trying to win, and we still think that we have a good football team to win. Thank you for raising your hand, um, yes, Rashawn. Yes, sir. This is one thing I want to add. You told me oh, hell, what that can you tell you this time? Justin Fields was just as good as who? Huh? Jalen who? Jalen Hurts. You want to tell, tell America something? I, I mean, if we could pull up. America? We, one we, second. One second, America. He has something to tell you guys. No, because if we could pull up the, uh, <laughs> the segment again, right? I never said he was America, better. America, he has something to say to you guys. The topic was, doing it is again. it disrespectful? <laughs> doing it again. Just say this. Is say it disrespectful just to Justin Fields? <laughs> no. I am not saying I'm sorry. Because that's not how He told me that. And, every, and everybody, I forgot. Only, I just that forgot. That was the topic. <laughs> and everybody was like, yo, remember no. James? Remember James said this? I said, no. he Look, did topic, say that. The topic was, is it disrespectful to Justin Fields? To call him a to poor man. To call him a Jaylen. poor man's Jalen Hurts. Well, and I look, said that was disrespectful. Well, what's he look like right because now? Because it's things that he does better than him, and that is use his leg. Well, you just said that right? it's time to so, get rid of him. So it is, because now, hey, like, like Joy teaches us, <laughs> update your information. My information has been updated. You know what I'm saying? I had to get that out. I'm sorry. <laughs> Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.